Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, I'm Masa, uh, to the friendly developer from the Fraser, uh, ARM Fraser Data. Uh, in this session, uh, I talk about the friendly basis for the uh, new friendly users. So I talk about the architecture uh, overview and the uh, practice and the use cases with Kubernetes. Okay. First is a friendly overview. Okay. This is a list of the uh, first of, first of the friendly. The friendly is uh, designed for the uh, storing data collection. So friendly is uh, continuing to the read, uh, read from the data and uh, send to the data to the destination in the storming manner. So unlike a batch model. So friendly is uh, uh, main the focus is for the uh, low latency log transfer. And the friendly is uh, using the Ruby gems for the plugin develop uh, plugin development and the distribution. The Ruby gems is a standard uh, platform on the Ruby. So friendly uses the uh, 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 Ruby whole Ruby ecosystem on the plugin development. So we can use the Ruby uh, any Ruby library to develop the plugin and the easy to distribute in the Ruby gems. So we can uh, easy to write the plugin and the easy to reuse the plugin on your environment. And the friendly provides uh, uh, several approaches for the uh, setup. So you can use the uh, RPM or dev for the CentOS or Ubuntu or Debian. And the friendly community also provides the uh, MSI packages for the Windows. So you can run friendly on the Linux and the Windows. And friendly is a logging part of the CNCF. So friendly is used in the Kubernetes. And friendly also uses a, a CNCF product. For example, friendly has a Prometheus plugin to export the friendly metrics to the uh, Prometheus. So you can monitor the friendly instances using the Prometheus. Okay, uh, this is uh, one example of the uh, friendly's uh, log collection. So this example is for the local files. So we friendly uh, monitor the local files, and if application uh, writes the logs <coughs> to the local files, friendly reads the data immediately and send to the logs to the central server with low latency. So you can uh, you can check the logs on the local server quickly. So this is good for the uh, uh, data uh, log processing because you can use the uh, Spark or other data processing framework with the uh, newer logs. So you you not you don't need to wait the log rotation or the uh, uh, file complete. And I said the uh, friendly has a plugin, so you can use the plugin to the uh, for any destinations and the any data sources. So you can read the data from the any data sources and you can send the data to the end destination. So no need to write the, uh, your uh, own script for the, your needs. So friendly is a glue in the, your data pipeline. Uh, the next topic is a friendly architecture. So I will show how Friendly works. Okay. Uh, this is uh, details of the Friendly design. I, Friendly is consists of the core parts and the plugin parts. And the Friendly core covers the common concerns of the uh, data collection. So Friendly core provides the buffering and the retrying feature, and the error handling for the temporal failure or the <coughs> unrecoverable errors. Of course, Friendly has an event routing for the data destinations. Uh, Friendly has a more features for the uh, parallelism for the data uh, improve the performance. And the Friendly Core also provides the collection of the plugin helper for plugin development. And the plugin path is the uh, interface of the real use cases. So Friendly Core provides a uh, uh, good, uh, lot of, uh, lots of good features for the data collection. So plugins focuses on the logic of the 
uh, real use cases for write to the databases or read, read data from the API, HTTP API, or how to pass the data or how to format the data. The API is very simple, so developer easy to write the new plugin for your requirements. And the next is, uh, this is a uh, front event structure. So for example, uh, Apache logs, if you have Apache logs, uh, one Apache log line is converted into the, this, data, this data structure. So time and the tag are the record. The tag is identifying data sources. So you can use this tag for the, where this data comes from. Ah, this tag is used for the event routing in the front uh, pipeline. And the important point is the record. Record is a uh, actual log content, but format is a JSON object, not the raw string. Uh, because recently, uh, many middlewares or data services can accept the JSON format natively, and the JSON, JSON object is easy to mutate or easy to format to the other format. So uh, instead of raw string, JSON is very good for the uh, recent systems. So this is why friendly uses a uh, JSON object, not the raw string. And this image shows the data pipeline in the friendly instances. So incoming events are uh, passed through the, this uh, right to left. Or, uh, so input plugin, filter plugin, buffer plugin, output plugin. Now I talk about the each component. The input plugin. So this is a third point of the friendly data pipeline. So input plugin receives the data from the HTTP or uh, read the data from the local files. So and um, uh, <coughs> receives the data, uh, emit, emit the data to the this pipeline. So the important point is uh, this HTTP input plugin passes the data for the structured login. So I said that this event. So input plugin converts the raw string or binary data binary data to the this format. Next is the filter plugin. So filter plugin is a very simple. So mutating the record or filter out the logs. So for example, adding the host name to the uh, event record or uh, uh, filter out the uh, unnecessary logs is with conditions. For example, info level or error level or something. And of course, uh, filter plugin is a could be chain. So you can apply the multiple filters as one data streams. Next is the buffer plugin. The buffer plugin is not a standard plugin. This plugin is used inside the output plugin. So buffer plugin is used for the stored events before data, uh, before data flash. So this is uh, important for the improved performance. For example, some output plugin uh, is not optimized for the small request, for example, MongoDB or Elasticsearch. It needs a bulk import uh, for the data ingestion. So buffer plugin is uh, collecting the data, uh, merge, the, merge the small records into the one large uh, chunks. So the output plugin uses uh, these chunks for the data flash. So this is why buffer plugin is important for the front D. And front plugin, uh, front D provides a buffer plugin by default. And this buffer file, buffer file plugin uh, stores the data on the persistent disk. So this is uh, this avoids the data loss uh, when the uh, friendly crash. So we recommend to use the file buffer on the uh, production environment. The output plugin is uh, very simple because uh, so buffer plugins uh, manage the data streams and the so <coughs> uh, how to manage the data chunks. So. At plugin, uh, very simple, is a right to data to the destination. So MongoDB, Hadoop, or other cloud services. This is a real example of the input plugin. So Fentory can consume the data from the Kafka or can collect the data from the uh, HTTP endpoints.
The adopt plugin is a、uh, community has a lots of adopt plugins because the、uh, lots of、uh, destination so MongoDB or Prometheus, Elasticsearch, Kafka or more. Okay, and the next is a、uh, use cases with a configuration. So I will show the.、Uh, Uh, use cases and the actual configuration for how, how f l u e n t l y u s e This is very simple forwarding configuration、uh, use cases. So, this is、uh, collecting data from the local files and、uh, receiving data from the application and send data to the MongoDB. This is a configuration example. So, source section is for the input plugin, and the match section is for the output plugin. So, in this case, we use the tail input plugin and the forward input plugin. And the match section has a tag pattern. This is a app prefix tag, tag pattern. So, in this case, so if tag matches this pattern,、uh, these events are stored into the、uh, match section. So, in this case, Tail i n p u t plugins data is、uh, stored into the MongoDB. So you can,、uh, speci uh, you can specialize a、uh, uh, complex data pattern. So you can uh, 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 build the complex data routing with tag,、uh, tag matching. Next is the、uh, multiple destination. Sometimes、uh, we want to、uh, send the data to the、uh, multiple data stores. So, f r e n d l y also supports this use cases. And the, for this use cases, we use the copy plugin. So, we can wrap the、uh, output plugins with the copy plugin. In this case,、uh, f r o n t e n d So, if this configuration,、uh, app, app, app tag prefix patterns、uh, data is stored into the Elasticsearch and the、uh, HDFS at the same time. So, if you want to add more, more destinations, you can、uh, just add the store sections in the, mon in the copy plugins. And Friendly also supports the、uh, merge tier forwarding.、Uh, this is mainly for the high traffic environment, so you have、uh, lots of forwarders and the data traffic is high. So, Friendly has their own forwarding protocol、uh, with the forward plugins. So, this shows the f r e n d l y Ford protocol supports the two delivery thematics, at most ones and at least ones. And Ford protocol also supports the high availability and the load balancing. And the recent version has also k e e p alive. So, you can use、uh, this Ford protocol covers the high traffic environment with the high availability. And this model has、uh, pros and cons. And、uh, how to explain the, this、uh, complex model in this session. So, if you are interested in the, this model,、uh, please check the、uh, previous talk at the Kubecon. So, we have a sort of、uh, forward side aggregator or aggregator side, and sometimes several、uh, approaches in this model. And next is、uh, talk about the container and the Kubernetes. So, so f r e n d l y is、uh, widely used in the、uh, container environment. For example, so by the data local research,、uh, f r e n d l y is a fourth product on the,、uh, running on Docker. So, f r e n d l y is、uh, used in the collecting the logs on the Docker environment.、And in In this chapter, so I will talk about how to collect logs from the、uh, container environment. Okay, uh, uh, before, uh, before talk about the collecting, so I talk about the、uh, resources for the container environment.、Uh, you can use the friendly with the, these. Uh, set up. So one is the Docker and the Kubernetes and the Helm chart.、Uh, friendly community provides the Docker,、uh, plain Docker images,、uh, and the Alpine and Debian. 
あの、this Docker image is a Docker official image, so you can run this container on the ARM or PowerPC or more platforms. So if you are using a plain Docker, so not Kubernetes, you can use this images for your environment. And on, on Kubernetes, uh, Fentry provides a Kubernetes demo set, uh, setting and the Docker images. And this images has a several built-in destination, so Kafka or Elasticsearch. And of course, you can easy to use the, your destination with the, these images. And I'm, I don't, I, I'm not sure, but the Helm chart of, uh, provides the friendly, friendly images as a stable version. So you can, if you use the Helm, you can also use the, this uh, Helm chart images on your environment. Okay. Um, and next is uh, how to collect the data from the uh, Docker environment. So this is uh, Docker specific approaches. So Docker logging with the logging driver. So Docker has a logging driver mechanism to the send data to the external systems. So for example, local file or the TCP, uh, over TCP. And the Docker logging driver supports the friendly logging driver by default. So you can uh, easy to use, uh, you can easy to collect Docker, uh, Docker logs with the friendly with this logging driver. This logging driver collects the uh, standard out standard error data from the uh, con inst container instances and send to the friendly with the uh, client library. So if you set the uh, in forward input plugins in friendly side, you can collect the uh, data from the, this logging driver. This is Docker specific environment, uh, this is Docker specific approach. So if you use the uh, plain Docker environment, you can use the, this approaches. This approach uh, can't use on the Kubernetes or other environment. The second approach is uh, using a uh, front logger. A front logger is a client library for the each language. So Ruby has a front logger, uh, Last of All has a front logger. So this approach is uh, you need to add the uh, login code in your application, but you can use any data format or any data with this client library. So no need to pass over something. So if so, this is same as the front uh, login driver. You can use the forward input in the front D instances, you can collect data from the, this client library. So this mate is a, uh, so you can collect any data in your application. Okay. Uh, third approach is, is uh, using the shared data volume. Uh, sometimes we can't uh, change the uh, logging setting of the container images. For example, middleware, uh, uses uh, uh, local only local files. Oh, for for this case, for these use cases, uh, we can use the shared data volume and the input tail plugin to collect the local files from the uh, containers. And on Kubernetes, uh, we use the similar approaches to collect the data from the container instances uh, because Kubernetes. Uh, uh, send data, send uh, in container instance data to the barlog containers uh, directory and no need to access to the container uh, standard error or standard out. So we use the, uh, we need to use the tailored plugin and the plugin to collect data from the uh, container logs on the Kubernetes environment. So, uh, our Kubernetes demo set images uses uh, this setting on the collecting the all Kubernetes container logs and send the data to the Kafka or something. But uh, our, our Kubernetes demo set images has the additional uh, <coughs> the additional data to the data. Uh, Logs, because uh, on Kubernetes we sometimes want to data uh, meta metadata for the namespaces or container name or pod names. 
So we added the uh, Kubernetes metadata filter in the Fresh Data Pipeline to the gather data, gather Kubernetes data, and add this metadata into the data streams. So if uh, by default, so log data is very simple. So log field has the uh, uh, actual logs. But after applying this filter, uh, the log has the more metadata for the Kubernetes. So this is the example of the container name or namespaces. So you can use this metadata on the processing side. So grouping the containers, logs, or something. So this is a summary of the uh, container logging. So we can, uh, I show the uh, four approaches. So Docker specific approaches or general approaches with the client library and use the uh, shared volume for the non-customized images. And on Kubernetes environments, we can uh, use the uh, metadata to the more <coughs> rich data processing. So you can choose the, these approaches for your needs. Uh, this is the last chapter, so I introduced the FriendBit. Friendly, FriendBit is an important ecosystem on the FriendD. So this is a, a comparison table of the FriendBit and the FriendD. So FriendD is written in Ruby plus C, but the FriendBit is uh, fully written in C. So this is a very small uh, application. So if you want to reduce the uh, memory or CPU usage, you can uh, you need uh, you can consider the front bit instead of the front D. The front bit to design is very similar to the front D. So front bit event also has a tag and the time and the record, and the front bit also has a router event router for the Tag, uh, tag based routing. So you can use the friendly knowledge for the friend bit. The friend bit also uses uh, a similar approach, but the same approach in the Kubernetes environment. So you can also use the, uh, you can also get the Kubernetes, meta uh, Kubernetes metadata in the uh, data pipeline. So you can use the, uh, Fred bit on the whole other side instead of Fred D to reduce the uh, resource usage. Currently, uh, their pattern is uh, very popular, so some users uh, deploy the Fred bit on the Fred uh, Docker's whole other side and set up the aggregators for collecting the thousands, uh, thousand nodes from the aggregator and send it to the destinations. So you can get the Fred bit mate and Fred D mate in this combination. And the latest fluid bit has a storing processing feature in the core, so you can uh, aggregate or some more complex calculation on the whole other side. So this reduces the network traffic or, some, or more in the whole other side. And if you are interested in this storing processing on the edge, Please check the front of it documentation of, of the story processing article. Okay, enjoy logging. Thanks. Any question? Okay. Oops. So, uh, is it possible to use the Java language to write a pl plugin for Fluent D? Java language plugin? Yeah. So you want to write a Java language? Yes, maybe the just a Java is an example. What else language is supported to write a plugin for plenty? So uh, what, what you want to collect the Java application logs? Uh, actually, I mean, you just talk about the plugins, right? Mm -hmm. There could be a lot of plugins. So what kind of languages are supported to write a plugin? Uh, so Java based or a plugin? Yeah. Uh, currently, no. Currently, only Ruby. OK, only Ruby. Oh, only Ruby. Yeah. Okay, got it. Thank you. Uh, so one other thing. So print bit is a little C. So print bit is uh, we can write the uh, plugin as a C language, but print bit supports a Go language as a plugin. 
So maybe we can friendly, we look, uh, maybe friendly we can similar approach to the using the other languages to the plugin language. Oh, this is the future work. Other question? Hello. I want to know how to uh, how front D to handle the the log from the uh, stand out a uh, stand out from yeah yeah. Oh, you mean the uh, for, for example my application just uh, uh, write a uh, log like a printf mm -hmm. and then how 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 my front D to uh, collect the log from the stand because uh, from the stand stand out mm -hmm. yeah just uh, I just so. This is on the container, on, on the container or yeah. bare metal? Yeah, it's just uh, some, something like I, I run the command uh, um, uh, Kuba, uh, Kuba CTL to, uh, to get the log, logs the port and uh, I will find the log, log uh, message, mm -hmm. right? And uh, how, how can I, can I um, uh, import the the, the 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 log message to into front D. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you use uh so front D has a uh standard standard out input plugin in the input side. So if you uh pipe if you send the log to pipe to the front D, mm -hmm. so you can use this plugin. But okay. if you use uh run the application on the container or uh, Kubernetes, yeah. so you can use uh, this uh, approach so why this, why this send logs to the barrel container, so you can use the input plugin, or if you use the uh, plain docker, you can use the logging driver. To the okay. 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 Thank you. Uh, is there any plan about uh, open telemetry? Open telemetry? Yeah. I am considering the support of the open telemetry, but the open telemetry is uh, ensure the uh, pro progress of the uh, migration from the to a project. So if you uh, if you finish the, this migration and the, if we uh, or public the uh, open telemetry Ruby library, so we can easy to support the, this via the plugin. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have a question that uh, uh, in the logging system, some, sometimes we need some buffer. Buffer. For, yeah. for, for example, Kafka to slow down the. Uh, the stream, mm -hmm. data stream, and uh, the and the in another, in, yes, in this uh, architecture, then Fluent D uh, can be a uh, there is an aggregator mm -hmm. in Fluent D. Can can this aggregator act uh, as a Kafka uh, role in the whole system? Yeah, since maybe there is a buffer. The, so you you can use the uh, Fluent D instead of the Kafka on the global buffer, right? Uh, data pipeline buffer. You yeah. Are, yeah. Maybe I think the Kafka was as a system, as a product it's better than the uh, Fluentd yeah. because Kafka has uh, replicated data to the distributed uh, mm -hmm. clusters, but Fluentd is uh, it, it doesn't support the, this model. So if we, if one instance is the crashes and the how do they how do they uh, HDD or ICD the crash is uh, so hard to recover from the data. So. Fluentd's aggregator is mainly for the collecting, collecting the data from the whole others and the merge the data streams into the one and send it to the destination. So we recommend to the put the aggregator on the uh, before Kafka because, uh, for example, one customer uses uh, Fluentd as a Kafka combination, but the uh, forwarder is very uh, the, the large number of foreign uh, forwarders. So sometimes Kafka is Kafka is down because. Uh, by the uh, high high workload, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, this one customer uh, set up the aggregators before the Kafka, so Kafka Kafka becomes a stable. So, okay. if you want to use the uh, global queue as the Kafka or other what is better, but aggregator uh, helps the uh, stable stable uh, operation for Kafka. Okay. Yeah. So uh, one question about the metadata or the uh, workload on Kubernetes. Mm -hmm. So your PPT, your slides just mentioned uh, we can append some metadata mm -hmm. to the log. 
Okay, so for the workload, so this kind of appending uh, could be done automatically or we need to do it uh, with the code. This one? Uh, no. There's a slide about the metadata. Metadata? Uh, yes, on the Kubernetes workload. Hmm? No? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, you can see, yeah, you append the namespace and uh, the container name. Mm -hmm. So, just mention this, this kind of metadata we should, uh, maybe we need to append to the log, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, can be done automatically or we need to uh, code something. Uh, this uh, how how to control this metadata? Right. Yeah, this is uh, calling the uh, API server, Kubernetes API server, uh, the periodically. So updating the uh, metadata from the uh, Kubernetes API server, and uh, if uh, adding the data from the, this uh, data. So what you said, uh, the front end will talk to the API server yeah. and append the metadata into the logs yeah. automatically. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, first off, thank you for the talk. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, I have a question. So, compared with other competitors, why should I choose FruitD? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in general, just uh, broadly. Oh, what's the company? Sorry? Compare? Other competitors like Logstash or uh, yeah, this is uh, depends on the your needs. So Logstash is uh, depends on Java. Uh -huh. So this is uh, sometimes uh, JVM is a very uh, large on the container environment or something. Uh, and this is uh, maybe yeah. Uh, this is, if you are spe uh, specialist of the Java or JVM, mm -hmm. and if you want to the connecting to the Elasticsearch. Maybe you can use the, sometimes log search is better. Okay. Yeah. But frankly, the general uh, log collection, so many users use the Elasticsearch or Kafka or uh, S3 or more other cloud environment. So mm. frankly, has a lot of plugin. So you can easy to connect to the other, uh, other systems. So this is a uh, thread, uh, you can you choose the, which is better on the your uh, okay. workload. Maybe very, uh, uh, f f features are very similar to the, Recent uh, uh, collectors. Okay, yeah. okay, thank you. Uh, sorry, uh, one question about uh, Fluent Bit. bit um, yeah. Does Fluent Bit have some solution for uh, log data with different priority, especially priority? when the uh, output bandwidth was very limited? Mm -hmm. uh, bundle, uh, priority means uh, bundle wise or something? Mm, uh, for example, uh, we have uh, three. We have two different uh, data sources for mm -hmm. input, and uh, they have different priority. Mm -hmm. uh, then, when the output uh, bandwidth was very limited, we want we want uh, the data with higher priority. We were sent first. Uh, so you want to if you if you, you have uh, two data sources and one yeah. is high priority, yeah. you want to process the data high priority the fast. Yeah. Uh, currently, maybe no. Okay. Yeah. If you have a good idea, so please post it on the project. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you.